you guys, Sean T. Phillips here with our brand new Black Friday Madness 2020 video. Yes, I'm getting ready to go out for Black Friday sales right now. It's 4.38 a.m. Uh, normally, the Black Friday sales would start actually on Thanksgiving Day on Thursday, and they would start around 5 or 6 p.m. Like um, Best Buy, I think, was opening at like, I think normally at 6. Walmart was like at like 5 or 5 or 6 p.m., something like that, usually on Thanksgiving Day. This year, though, they didn't end up doing that. What they've done, though, this year was all the stores have done mainly online but then they did some in-person sales and they're basically doing them all throughout the month of November you know at Walmart they had like specific dates like a specific Friday they would be sales then two weeks later they'd have another Friday and things would be on sale but they are still doing in-person uh, Black Friday sales. So um, we're going to be heading to uh, Walmart first. They open up at 5 a.m. Uh, and then um, Best Buy opens at 5 as well. So then we're going to head to Best Buy. I don't know if I'm going to get to Target though or not. They don't open up until 7. So I'm not totally sure if I'm going to get there as well. But I know for sure I'll be getting to a Walmart and a Best Buy. So definitely looking forward to seeing you know what they have in there. Because they have had sales throughout the month. So I don't know, for example, what Walmart's going to have out on sale today which is exclusives or anything like that to be you know in store only sales or things like that because like I said I have no idea since mainly the stuff has been done online uh, and Walmart did about a week and a half ago have a bunch of movies on sale so I'm interesting to see you know what kind of DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks they have on sale today same with at um, Best Buy because they were having sales as well already this week so I'm interested to see you know what kind of new stuff is today because basically if you guys are new to my channel I mainly focus on you know DVDs Blu-rays uh, that kind of stuff but I'm going to show in this video though a look at everything just kind of a look at all that's going on kind of seeing how busy it is this year if there's big lines to get in be very interesting to see so let the black friday madness 2020 video begin so we're gonna pull in and see how walmart's looking now it's 4 47 and they should be opening up at 5 and this isn't a 24-hour location, so I don't believe, you know, people could, will already be inside. Because some of the things that are, if they're 24 hours, people will already be inside. And that's how it normally would be on Thanksgiving Day. Let's see what kind of line there is. I don't see much of a line. I'm looking over here. And, yeah, I see a very small line. I should be able to park right over here in the back. And I see a line, like, right there. You can kind of see. I'll show you guys when I get out. But there's maybe, like, 20 people in that line over there. There's very few people. It's never... You never see that small of a, of a line. But we'll go out there and I'll show you guys the line though. You can see, I don't even need to get in it yet. It's like so few people. You see there's like, over there, there's just like one person coming over, but very small line. Well, you can see, this is pretty much the line. Like the entrance is right over there to get in where the cop car is. So like in this very few people, this is pretty much it. From here, from all the way right there to the door to right here and they open in 10 minutes. But. It's a good thing this isn't like a really long line or anything like that because it's like 38 degrees out right now. So it's like for this area, it's like freezing. So it's like really, really cold out here. But go inside and see what they've got. Right. Can we follow the arrows to the right? Yeah, they have like real specific arrows you have to follow. Like you can't just walk over there. You have to like have like arrows in the floor and that kind of stuff in here. So I don't know if they're going to put it all like in the frozen food area or not. But see, here's how it's going in here. So I guess you just go throughout the store but they want you to all go in that particular way. In the years past, they used to like put like the DVDs and Blu-rays like down in this section. There's been kind of all these random spots they put it throughout the years. And they got like the Zamboni thing out there. So we'll see what they've gotten here. And usually like in these spots is where they would have some of the other sale items and stuff like that out in here. Let's see though. We should be certain to get to some of these sales soon. Yeah, it all like goes together like this. See, you have the, all these things. Black Friday sales shop to the right. So you see some of these sales stuff as you go around, like here's this and some of the movies, but these are all the ones from last time around, like the original sales. So I don't think there's anything different in these ones, but we're still following these things. So I think these are all considered Black Friday deals as well, like this TV here. Some of these things wore out last time around when they had some of the sales last week. 
But today, like I said, is the big Black Friday day. This is some kind of like a TV mount thing here. And this is like another TV mount. But they're all still like following these arrows. So I don't know if it gets to the, the uh, I don't know what section they're getting to where they have all the main deals today. Here's some more of these things. Got a Barbie car thing. Hoverboard thing. See, everybody kind of keeps walking, but I think like these are kind of considered part of the sales. I don't know if it's kind of one of these things where I feel like people might be like walking around, but then all of a sudden they'll just be like, oh, we're leaving. I don't know if that's what they're doing or the sales are all going to be out like in the garden center center thing out there, but we'll see. Yeah, well, when it led us out here, it was just sort of like to like sacks and like jeans and like, I guess like some kind of jackets and stuff like that, like stuff like that. So that's where it kind of led us around in here. Was to this room with all this. Doesn't seem to be any more movies out here. Like, I don't know if there's any actually more movie sales today or not. I forget if we already saw all of them last week. Over here, though, you see, this is like I said, where it led everybody. And there's like some other stuff over here. Like, but I don't know if this is, I think this might just be like general, like Christmas stuff, like candy canes and stuff like that. I don't think that's sort of part of the, the Black Friday sales, but this is pretty much the essential of where it like led everyone to was just in here with the socks and, and underpants and stuff. But, and then it kind of has the arrows back out again. So yeah, that was kind of like the big thing in there. And they have like some of these tentrapedic kind of like pillows and stuff in there. But I don't see any more movies. Like I said, I don't know if there's any more DVDs or Blu-rays that were on sale today. Or the ones that were like last week were like pretty much the, the main ones. But this is kind of the main kind of Black Friday stuff you see like a lot. There's like a bunch of bikes here for 58 bucks here. These ones. And then there's like some of these like... Um, pan things here like pots and pans kind of kits yeah but you have to make sure you stay on like these sides and like a printer here for like twenty dollars like that's a pretty good price for a printer thing there but as you can see in here though it's like very few people like when you think about other years of black friday and you think of how like crazy and like you look back on some of my past videos and i'll put some links below if you guys want to see some of the past ones but when you think about how like crazy it was in here I don't, know, I don't know what that was when you think about like how crazy it was in the past and everything and you see now how few people and stuff but see like i said they've been doing a whole lot of these online sales and then they even did on the in-store sales throughout all the month of you know of uh, november so that's kind of why as well but like i was saying these are the big things like the tvs and these were already on sale some of these ones already but when it comes to the movies like i said i don't think there's anything new compared to what was already there. I think it's just those ones right there, which I already saw last time around. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else different added to this batch of movies here. I think it's all the same stuff. And I think they might've just like put the, because um, in some stores I saw, they like kind of covered over these prices. Like they had them un un uncovered for one day. So then I think that these are back to the prices that they were. It's like $3.99 for certain ones and stuff like that. But I did a video showing all these ones already. And I, like I said, it does not seem to be like there's anything else newly added into it or anything. But as you see, there's not a ton of people coming in. It's very, very, you know, very non-busy compared to other years in here and everything. But still wanted just to check just to see what they had. But we'll see, though, how Best Buy is. I'm curious to see if they have anything new put out there or not, though. Yeah, but like I was saying, though, look at how, like, sparse and empty it is. And you can see, like, even out here checking out, there's very few people or anything. So it's... Definitely not busy. We'll see them when we leave if more people have come in, but I doubt it. I doubt. Yeah, you can see kind of coming in, there's very few people coming in either. So definitely not very busy today in here though, but we'll head over to Best Buy and see how that is. Yeah, you know, in that line that we saw going in of like the probably like, I think it was like 20 people in front of me. And then when I, as I was in that line, maybe like, maybe 15 more people came, something like that. But as you see, there's no more line getting in or anything like that. We just pretty much were in there for like 10 minutes or so. But I think before we go, I'm gonna drive by the um, the Target because the Target's right there and I'm gonna see if there's like a line of anyone waiting or anything like that. But I doubt there will be. Just kind of curious if there's anybody waiting there because I guess they open up in about an hour and 45 minutes. So just kind of curious to see how many people are over there, if, if any over there now. Well, here we are heading over to Target. Let's see, I see like, Somebody, somebody's standing out there. I see like one person. 
don't know if that's a person like is that a person waiting to go in or is that a person just sort of like like looking at the sign there might be somebody just looking to say what time does this place open yeah I see people like looking like standing there I guess I don't know if they I guess they work there I don't know there's like another guy inside of there but I see two people so that's it so far and it's 5 15 so they open up an hour and 45 minutes so I don't know if they're gonna wait I they might be waiting but it is 37 degrees which is like I said for out here really really cold I already have like frozen toes just from waiting out there for like 15 minutes or 10 minutes whatever it was to get into uh, the Walmart but now though like I said I don't think we're gonna end up getting to Target this morning um, but we will go to Best Buy now and I'm hoping they have some new movies that they didn't have last week you know on Tuesday like different stuff because all the sales were already going on Tuesday so I don't know like I said if they're gonna add anything different if there's gonna be any exclusive sales for game systems because I wasn't seeing a lot of game system stuff in the um, in Walmart like I didn't see any like um, things on like game things in those areas or anything like that so I think a lot of that stuff was online only but we're head over there now so we'll see how it looks going into Best Buy now let's see I see a decent amount of cars over here there's a decent amount not nothing crazy though nothing like you know you would used used to see they like I said they open up for they've been open for 22 minutes now and I really I have not seen anything about sale wise what they have that's like starting today in here like I said that they've been doing it throughout the month so I don't know like what starts today in here but as you see though they don't there's no line to get in or anything like that like you know so it's not like meeting capacity or anything like that so we'll head on in there and see what they've got so we're taking a look around in here and stuff and you see they have like a bunch of like sound bars and stuff like that so like sound bar like 149 dollars like this giant tv uh, 529 dollars so that's what you see in here is like a lot of like big tvs another big sound bar thing here for 279 dollars there's another one here like a sony bravia uh is that a yeah, 4k one here for 599 dollars so about 600 bucks so that that's that's the big thing. That's that's like usually the biggest deals are on the TV. I don't know though, like I was saying about video game systems, if there's like any big sales on the games. This is where everyone's kind of is congregating. So like there's like the controllers in there. So here's some of the games and stuff in here, like Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that. So you see some of the stuff like Animal Crossing 49.99, Last of Us is in here. The Just Dance. But these sort of seem like kind of the regular prices on these from what I can tell. There's some computer stuff here, like some Dells, like a Dell. Is that like the whole computer or just like you need to actually get the thing to? I don't know if it's the whole computer, just the screen. It might be just the monitor for 200 bucks. I think it's probably just the monitor. There's another monitor here for 200 bucks. Is this the, yeah, just, I guess it's just the monitor. I'm pretty sure not the actual unit thing. Is there a printer here? What is this, like a desktop computer thing? What is this here? Oh, another desktop. And these things were already here. So these like movies and stuff like that were the ones that were already on sale. They have some of the, um, I think some of these ones might be different. Like um, they have like 21 Bridges for $7.99. I think that might have been a Black Friday sale that's going on today. Like Good Boys, $10. Glass for only $6. Parrot, $7.99. The Hunt, $7.99. Ma for $5.99. Us for $5.99, uh, yesterday $5.99. So these are pretty good prices on these ones. So I don't know if these are on for today only. Like these 4K Disney ones, these are $24.99. So that's those are pretty much average for those ones. But let's see if there's anything else different in here. I think this is all pretty much the same stuff that they've had on sale at on Tuesday in here, like Joker and Birds of Prey for $7.99. They have some of those arcade one-up systems over there. Like the one is like Pac-Man over there and stuff like that. But let's just see, like I said, I don't see any like um, video game systems for sale. Like for some reason I thought that was gonna be some of the really big uh, deals today. They do have some of the 4Ks back on sale again because these were on sale a little while ago and now they're back on sale again. Like uh, Spider-Man Far From Home here for $14.99 for the 4K Steelbook. Which that's actually a very, very good price for that. Equalizer 1 and 2 Steelbooks for $14.99 here. Ghost in the Shell for $14.99. Over here though, they have some of the other stuff that's on sale. It's like they have like, microwaves in here for like $179. This one here is $129. There's like a iRobot thing, Roomba here for like $299. Some more microwaves. 
But let's go back to the video games though and see if there's anything else over there but as you can see though it's very very few people like i said when you look compare it to other years with the amount of people that are in here and everything it's like so different let's see any other game stuff over here because that's usually where some of the best deals can be but i don't see and of course like playstation 5 you would think you might you would think there would be something here for that but i know those things sold out really quick See, they have a PlayStation Virtual Reality, the PS5 though, those are of course empty. I knew those would, would, would sell very quickly if, if they had any of them today or not. And I don't think there was even any sales on those today, I don't think. And then in here, let's see, do they have anything else in here? I don't believe so as far as I can tell. Any of these bin things here is where they have some of the sales going on. There's like, what's that, some more Mario parties in there. Over here, though, in the movie section, though, it seems like the most people are over here. Most people are over here in the movies, so you see a lot of people down here getting stuff. And then the other area is the game. So at least, you know, I always like to see people, like, buying a lot of the movies. And, like, these, these are some of the... I think Target had the same prices on a lot of these ones, like Adam's Family for $7.99, Doolittle for $7.99. I can't remember if this was what these were in Walmart as well, because I know that was one of the ones that were for sale as well in there but yes yeah, it's, it's pretty much just like a little overview of kind of what's going on in here and as, like i said as you can see it's really really not that busy there's a bunch of people over here in the computers that's another play where people are getting a lot of stuff but as you see just try to give you guys a little overview on the stuff that's for sale in here but movie wise there's not really that much in here not much not it doesn't look like there's anything different that came in here today as far as i can tell though so anyway though guys that was just my little look at black friday you know 2020 and it wasn't really much madness today you know like some of the past you know years it was like i've come across some madness and stuff but like that but not really this was definitely the most low key like you look at the parking lot it's like this empty there's hardly anyone really in here uh when you compare it to other years you know and everything it's, it's just so different but like I said, I, th I, th I knew people really weren't going to flock out as much today. I, I, I was kind of thinking they weren't because the sales, pretty much the people are embracing getting stuff online for the most part for the really big stuff. And then, like I said, these stores have done throughout the month of November, they've had the sales. So like these sales that are going on today are nothing that, you know, huge because they've been going on throughout the month and everything, but still cool to come out and still wanted to get a little bit of video just to show how different it was this year on Black Friday and kind of what it was like and all that kind of stuff. But anyway though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, I'll definitely give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, I'll put below uh, links to some of the years past Black Friday videos if you guys want to check them out and just see how different they are. Uh, throughout the years and that kind of stuff. But anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.